how do we know which JS framework the web application is using? So usually when you go to a page, right, and then you right click view source, uh, you can you can you can sort of see what you you have to format it a little bit. Then you can sort of see what they are using. Yeah. Or sometimes we do have uh, things like uh, uh, tools like this, right? So Vue.js, uh, React.js, they, they each have their own uh, developer tools that we can see that if if there is, uh, so for example, this one, right? Yeah, I can click on this one. It says uh, view not detector. Oh yeah, I disable it. So uh, there are tools that can help you to see whether they are, uh, they are using a particular type of framework or not. Those dev tools, uh. okay. Yeah, but usually we will, we will go by view source. Uh. Yeah, like, like see this one, right? You can see that it's using Nux. Uh, it's telling you here. Yeah. Nux. Especially when they use CDN, right? It's very, very easy to tell. Uh. Yeah. Uh, may I know which part of the code that allows the web app to connect to Firebase? Oh, yeah, you just you just go to the part. You look at the one that I have, uh, dollar sign FireDB. I didn't go straight in, I mean, I didn't go too far into it because uh, it, it's a topic for another day anyway. Uh, but you, you guys really need to know is, uh, yeah, see, if you look for FireDB, right? Wherever it has FireDB means that it's loading the, uh, Firebase, yeah. Like this one is to read the star count uh, or the the, the counter la. All right, reference timers and then their reaction. So anything with a FireDB is uh, connecting to the Firebase database and either read or write data. Yeah. Uh, Kevin, what would be advised to be able to grab all this for total beginner? Very good questions. Join our class. <laughs> Full stack 360. Nah, that that's that's the fastest way. Okay, that's the fastest and easiest way. But the uh, even if you join the class, right, you still have to practice and build a side project on your own. So the easiest way will be uh build something. Okay, and start with HTML and CSS first because that will give you the best sense of achievement. At least you can use it. Even when I build this application myself, right, I start with the the visual elements first. I'm not a visual person. I'm very bad with uh, UI UX design. You probably can tell from my application. Uh, yeah, um, I'm very bad in graphics and very bad in user interface. But I still like to code it out first. Then later on, I wire the logics together. So that that would be uh, usual the usual case uh. But uh, okay, another advice I can give you, right, Kevin, is that don't don't go for those shiny frameworks. Yeah, there are a lot more uh, cooler frameworks, shiny frameworks like things like uh, say for example React JS is very popular, but it's a lot harder to use compared to Vue JS. People always use them to like use use that for the comparison. Uh. Celine, uh, may I know if I need to declare initialize Firebase DB before I can call it? Yes. So, uh, if you go to the Nuxjs config, right, it, you don't have to do any sort of initializations anymore. Yeah, it's basically done here for you. So later on, when you want to use your own Firebase, right, you just need to replace the configuration. Otherwise, you'll be just keep using mine. Uh. Let's